Anybody here ever hear of a slidescape? Do you have any around here? Slidescapes were a lot of times more on military buildings, but here's a 12-story slidescape in Elizabeth, New Jersey. This is a dinosaur, okay? A 12-story slidescape where you, and this is on the roof, this is the uh, Elizabeth, New Jersey Fire Department opening up the roof one, but in every floor, this only has one staircase and an elevator, this is an Art Deco building built right around 1900s when slidescapes were what you would use to save space. So here is a slide that once you open up these two little barn doors, every floor has these two little barn doors, and you got to jump into this corkscrew. And it's, see this thing? That's where the whole corkscrew is. You come down all the way down to the ground and then you eject on the final piece that takes you down this long slide and with your feet you hit this paddle on this iron door that swings open and that's when you run out in the street. <laughs> now in the 1900s, there's also there was a parochial school nearby and the kids, one of the things you had to do is go down this slide without getting caught. So uh, it was great that one of, the kid, one of the firemen there had a great story. He said his grandfather used to be one of the maintenance guys in the building. And to stop these kids or to catch these kids in the act, the grandfather would take coal dust because he used to, this used to be heated by coal. He used to throw coal dust down the chutes. And when the parochial kids came in with their skirts and their white shirts and everything, they'd go down this thing, slide, and they'd come out black and sooted. All their clothes, and then they had some explaining to do it because now how do you go back to school and, and there's always somebody catching this kid that's got black soot all over him. So, spiral. Dark as you can ever imagine. And when you go down this thing on your ass, there's no, they don't give you a little bag, you know one of those potato sack bags to go down? <laughs> and in case you got a skirt that day and your body, you know, like, you know, stops, somebody else comes behind you, smashes you, you go head first now. Now you're going down head first, smashing into that, that, that gate down below. Still an active building, still a proper means of egress for them. Because his grandfather did so one-way operation, guys. So tags, right? We'll work with the city. We'll work with you guys to see if we can get how many years we're going to take to identify every fire escape. Three to five years, right? You're not going to fix this overnight. Who we're going to use to spot all these fire escapes? And we should make it a game, like I was just saying here. If we give everybody a buck, if we give every fireman a buck to identify fire escapes, for everyone you find, you get a buck or some, some lottery, whatever. Thirty-five.